This is Biotechnica and you're listening to India's first life science podcast, The Voice of Biotechnica. Speed wins fights, patient wins wars. Hello and welcome to the enormous world of Biotechnica. This is Kajol Patel and I will be talking about Arvind Gupta and his interesting venture called as Indie Bio. That is one of the favorite quote given by Arvind Gupta. Let me introduce you to this iconic entrepreneur who founded Indie Bio, the world's largest biotech seed fund program. Indie Bio is a very unique venture which blends scientific method with design thinking to create an innovation that will impact over billion people or fetch niche market over billions of dollars. I cannot imagine science actually fetching billion of dollars. Now let's find out how. Talking about this radiating personality, Arvind started his professional life as an auctions market maker in the Pacific Coast Exchange, which is a part of Microsoft Pit. Later, he left trading in search of some meaningful career. Now, being a part of IDEO, that is I D E O, which happens to be a global design and innovation company, he set out in search of a unique idea. He was a design director and a strategist of product development at IDEO and led the team that designed many famous and unique products like Samsung Galaxy Curve fetching around 8 patents along with many international awards highlighting his one of the first venture he co-founded Starters which is a distinctive personal fitness app that gained popularity among thousands of users in 98 countries in 2013 he joined and became a venture capitalist in SOSV which is a firm which invests in the startup companies in the technology sector now being an innovator himself he had backed eight us patents and his work was being displayed in the SF Museum of Modern Art his valuable writings has appeared in renowned international journals like nature rotman forbes and design observer to just name a few now talking about his educational background arvin has a very interesting educational background he received a bachelor's degree in genetic engineering from university of california santa barbara and later he studied industrial design at san francisco state university that's not just it he is so interesting in terms of he's so radiating in all the fields that he didn't just stop at the academic qualification this magnificent personality is a 2016 world champion in noji brazilian jiu jitsu which is a form of japanese martial art and has climbed ei capitan what is that it's a vertical rock formation in osemite national park and many other big walls so he's also a base jumper which is a very exciting sport and that includes parachuting or winch suit flying and also big wave surfer oh my this personality has really some interesting facets to it now you have to listen to this influential and powerful personality on various platforms like tedx TechCrunch Disrupt, Slush Conference, Startup Iceland, and SFMOMA, just to name a few. He gives regular talks on such of these platforms on various topics. But before that, let me introduce you with his unique venture, which is called as Indie Bio, of which he is currently a managing director and also a co-founder. Arvin realized that there is no change in the field of biotechnology since the time. he was first introduced to this field now the major problem was the dominant pharmaceutical players who often overshadow early stage company and replace the founders now with this realization he wanted to establish a new business perspective in the field of biotechnology with exceptional idea which led to the concept of indi bio He came up with idiosyncratic ideas to share lab amongst companies, and hence by converting the exorbitant capital expense into orbit operating expense. 
this increased business transact as quickly as possible with this iconic idea he team up with seen o sullivan that is sosv now distinctive life sciences accelerator in the bio stand out for its ability to just create a magic often shown in science frictions like saving our planet earth which is the requirement of this r just to name a few i'll give you some interesting findings that they are working on such as making wood without using trees plastic made from mushrooms thankfully it will be degradable then chemicals without pollution and hey this one is really creepy creating meat but thankfully not from cows now if you have an innovative idea which can create a usable and helpful product then you must go through their 4 months program that runs twice a year and it approximately provides 2 lakh 50 thousand dollar investment to the would be startups in exchange for 8% of the company in which they are investing not a bad deal at all i'll tell you what are the current worth of the startup companies that they have actually funded in past so far 81 startups has graduated from indibio which are worth more than 700 millions of dollars collectively now rightly said by urshit parekh a partner at mayfield fund a venture firm indibio is really the first accelerator to bring the engineers mindset to biology with that Alvin wants to expand his wings and hence is testing how he can extend IndieBio's reach. He plans to create a similar clone of the Smart D in New York City. On this plan he said, in Boston and San Francisco for every dollar of NIH research there is just 1.3 dollars to 1.4 dollars in life science venture investment. He further adds In Greater New York, for every NIH dollars, there's only 10% in life sciences venture. The market has to be in equilibrium. Now, time has changed a lot, and with that, we need to keep a pace in what we are introducing in the market amongst the overly human populated planet. Discoveries such as converting billions of tons of CO2 to animal feed. instead of contributing the same co2 into global warming children who can develop autism can be detected and cured by the treatment for their brain differences two trimester before they are born and blood test done in minutes not days and being able to cure cancer by wbc and many such interesting and much needed investment and innovations are currently going on in the 13 startups which are in the 7th class of their research at indibio the good part is looking at these objectives in which the research is directed has been initiated and worked on and thanks to indibio to make the founders of such research ideas to feel normal and not undetermined by doubts IndieBio provides lab amenities such as bioreactors, fluorescent microscope, liquid chromatographic equipments that purify proteins, just to name a few. And this helps the startups to jump from academia and concentrate their work on their ideas, on their innovation, rather than working on the infrastructure which usually needed exorbitant investment. Now, rule number one: don't die. he declares and rule number 2 get the terms you want but if that doesn't work refer to rule number 1 arvin's words are immensely driving force for the startups to present the scientific creativity to the world so if you are courageous enough to believe in your scientific ideas to think about indibio do develop this idea into a successful product Arvin and Indi Bio definitely made us see the other side of science which is amalgamation of scientific and design thinking with a very nice pinch of business prospect it has been rightly said that people that learn to habitually make the tough calls like Arvin does stand out like flamingos in the flock of seagulls 
Thank you everybody. With that, I'll end this podcast and do wait for the next interesting one. Thank you. Should you have any questions, please comment below. Do not forget to subscribe to Biotechnica's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with latest in BT sector.